We want to practice a little bit of headshot photography today, so we've cleared a little bit of a space and we're going to see if we can come up with a decent high key setup. A lot of people like to criticise it when they call themselves a photographer. In my opinion, is that some people say, oh, you're only doing that if, if, if you're a professional. Well, I think there's a massive difference between a photographer and a professional photographer, mm -hmm. and that's just making money. And there was this argument that's, oh, you're not a photographer, you're just a rich kid with a nick on. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, no, you're not if you're just going out and shooting everything in auto. You can call yourself a photographer, even shooting on something like an iPhone, as long as you're taking a picture that's trying to look good and not just capturing a memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, iPhone photography or phone photography in general, um, you know, everyone's got them. It's, you know, the best camera's the one you've got with you and everyone's got the phone with you. So if you're out there capturing a moment, I suppose that is a memory though, so I don't know. Um, but some people just do it so they have that memory. It's like yeah. the iPhone and Instagram and things like that is the photo album of the digital. It, like now, it's like you don't get full albums. That is your photo album. Yeah. So, so is that photography? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't count a photo album as photography. No, I would count it yeah. as photos. But they're just let's capture the memory. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah, a, on a three by five. Yeah, but, I mean, get that. Yeah, I get that point. So it is just a memory. So as a photographer. I think you would class yourself as that if even if you're just if even if it's just a hobby but yeah. you know you're 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 going out there to you know to do street photography or landscape photography but you're physically personally you just want to go out and take the purpose is to go out and take the picture yes get in the shot yeah and not just capturing yeah. the memory even if you just for hobby because you know I, I, i'm out all the time taking photographs and it's just be, for me I don't do it for anyone, anyone yeah. else. Maybe yeah. one day I might sell a print if someone asked it. So after taking about 200 pictures, we've realized that a massive umbrella on a flash, uh, just with some backlights, is the best way to go. Yep. Uh, so here's another Polaroid section in our vlogs. Um, and today we have, do you want to introduce yourselves? My name is Ryan from Art of Brandon. I'm a graphic designer and I like fonts. I'm Charlie and I'm the same. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a quick Q&A with them. What's your favourite font, Ryan? Uh, oh, Roboto Slab. What's the question? Font. What's your favourite font? Not a designer. Yeah. That's <laughs> the end of the Q&A session. <laughs> so, what we're doing, we're going to the Polaroid, like always. They've, they've been here a few times many now. Many a time. Many, 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 many. So, yeah, we'll take it. Three, two, one. Right. I'll let you take it out. Right, you can shake it if you like. We have to tell this to everyone. Shake it, shake, shake, but shake yeah, it Andre three thousand lied because it, it ruins the print. Yeah. I'll have to put it in a dark, uh, a dark space, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll post it on. I'm very excited. Yeah. Thank you very much. So thanks for watching.